This week on Siskel and Ebert, we have a full slate of Christmas releases to review. I'm Gene Siskel, the tall, intelligent one. <laughs> and I'm Roger Ebert, the fat one. <laughs> Our first movie is a blockbuster sci-fi film. Continuing in the Star Trek tradition, catering to fans who don't have a life, comes the latest in the series, Star Trek, The Search for Hair Pieces. <laughs> Captain Kirk, the gravitation system has gone down. Not only that, the Enterprise's original crew members are getting desperate. We're almost out of depends. That doesn't matter, Captain Picard. We've got to reach the neutral zone in the search for a good hair weave. No, no. I know a Romulan who's good at implants. Can't trust the Romulans. They did Spock's hair. The Klingons have a process that's very natural looking. How dare you suggest I use Klingon hair? Look out, Captain! <laughs> you zapped my hairpiece. This is a fine movie. Smart performances and several excellent scenes with food. I give it a thumbs up. Roger, this is the worst piece of cinematic trash I've seen since the last Star Trek movie. I give it a thumbs down. You pompous, skinny, pseudo-intellectual jackass. You wouldn't know a good movie if it came up and bit you on the bum. Okay, our next movie is the Italian film Una Festa di Pasta Fazuli, dubbed into English. Maria, you are so beautiful in this light. We must make love. Now, on this very table, we have many meals on. Do not be such a fool, Enrico. You know it is time for the family dinner. Besides, I have seen you with that tramp, Carmela. <coughs> father Umberto, how wonderful to see you with your priestly robes. Come, we must have wine. Maria, bring wine for the father and me. Enrico, I come from the seminary to talk of your son, Fabrizio. Fabrizio is not my son. He does not even bring me wine. <laughs> This is a moving film, one of the year's ten best. I haven't seen this kind of intense characterization since Ernest Goes Camping. Gene, you self-indulgent little toad. It was poorly acted, unintelligible, and it had no sense of direction whatsoever. But since it's a foreign film, I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Next week, we look at a Canadian film, Whale Music. It's won four Genie Awards and stars actor Maury Chaikin as the whale. <laughs> It's the most successful Canadian movie of all time, grossing over $9. <laughs> I give it a thumbs up. Roger, you can sit on your thumb and rotate. <laughs> and that's it for Siskel and Ebert. We'll be back next week when we'll also look at the new Sharon Stone movie titled Young, Sexy, and Not Wearing Any Underwear. Until then, the balcony is closed. But the snack bar is always open. Yeah.